Hi, I'm going to show my entire photo card collection as of September 2022. So currently I have four main A5 binders and I have three mini binders and I also have an A4 binder that I just put bigger inclusions in. I also have this extra A5 dump binder. As I go through each binder, I'll say where my binders are from and then the sleeves that I use. Starting off with this binder, it stores my FX Red Velvet and WJS and Chocomi collection. This is an A5 Beyond D binder. I use the Dragon Shield Japanese size clear mats to sleeve my photo cards, and then I use the pink mats as filler. So from FX, I collect Southern. FX didn't really have that much merch or photo cards in general, so I've tried to collect pretty much everything for Sully. She was one of the first idols I ever really collected or bought merch from, so this collection is really special. So Sully only ever had three album cards. We have Electric Shock, Pink Tape, and Red Light. Then this is her Sum Fortune Cookie card. These three are from a tin case merch that SM did for Red Light era, and then this is the Red Light group card. On this page, I have the new ABO group card. This is an extra of Sully's red light photo card. This is just a filler for now. I want to get the pink tape group card and put that there. And then these two are her SM Town World Tour cards. They're like super thick. And those are all her photo cards. So now going on to bigger inclusions. On this page, I have the Electric Shock group card and it's like huge. So I put it here. And then moving forward, all the bigger inclusions are sorted by size, not by era, because I'm not too sure when a lot of this stuff came out. The first thing I have is this Hot Summer Polaroid. I'm not too sure what this is even from, but it is signed. Whether or not it's signed by Sully, I'm not too sure, but it is like an actual Sharpie signing, so it's signed by someone. I'm not too sure if this is even official or not, but I'm happy to have something from the Hot Summer era. These are Coax Polaroids from Red Light era. And then these are SM Town Theater, like printed pictures from like the same photo shoot. Then we have the pink tape postcard sets, this one as well. And then this is SM Art Exhibition postcard. And then these are from a SM Town weekly, like limited photo card set. And then I have her I Am World Tour postcard. And those are all the inclusions I have for Sully. I'm not too sure what I'm missing. I know for sure I'm missing a photo card that looks exactly like this, but just in photo card form. But yeah, I'm really proud of all the stuff I was able to get since I really, really love Sully and I miss her a lot. Next in this binder is Sully from Red Velvet. I collect all her album cards and then later on I start collecting a few more merch cards just to fill the page out. I also collect Kinos and Subunit and her upcoming solo as well. I don't collect her Japanese cards, but I do want to add that in the future since there's only three of them. On this first page, we have Ice Cream Cake, The Red, The Velvet, Russian Roulette, Rookie, Red Summer, Perfect Velvet, The Perfect Red Velvet, and then we have the two Bad Boy Not Random Kinos. This came in like every Kino. This is the Random Kino, and then this is the Bad Boy Hollow. This is a replica. Then we have Summer Magic, RBB. I have the Summer Magic Limited on the back here. Then I have Day One. These three are the album cards. This is the guidebook and then the Kino. Then for Day Two, I have the three album cards. This one's the guidebook and then the Kino. For Finale, they had five cards. So I put one on the back. So I have one from each of the concepts she had. And then I put the last one over here. And then this one and this one are replicas. And then for Queendom Era, they started doing three photo cards. So for the last spot, I put the Mumo card. For the Reve Festival 2022, I have the three album cards. And then this is a merch card from the acrylic standy keychain thing. And then we go into subunit stuff. So I sort it by full group and then subunit. For Monster, I have the top note, middle note, and base note version. And then I put her two SMCU cards here. So we have the Red Velvet version and the SM Town version. And then this is my setup for her solo debut, 28 Reasons. So I'm getting my albums from Mumo and they come with a pre-order. So there's three album cards in each version. And then I'm gonna put the Mumo in the fourth spot. So hopefully that'll look nice. And that's my entire Sylvie collection. Next is my WJSN Chokomi collection. And I collect all four of the girlies. I collect all their individual selfie cards and some pop sets. And then I collect all of Luda's Chocomi Pops. I don't collect units. I might in the future, but there's just a lot. So I just wanted to focus on the album cards and pre-orders first before I attempted to do the units. I don't even know if I will. 
their first release was Hoof, and for this first page I put the Tower Records pre-orders, and I'm just missing Luda. I sort their cards in a double spread, so we have the ribbon set, the retro set, and the candy set. Then I have the K-Town For You pre-order set. And then moving on to Super Yuppers, I have the trading cards at the front here. Then I have the colorful space set, the uniform set, and then the superhero set, and the K-Town For You pre-order. So that's all for album cards. Now I go into my Luda pre-order stuff. I store all the cards I have at the front, and then I have the fillers for the ones I'm missing at the back. For Hunfera, I have her Starship Square, and then her Starship Square unit with Tyum. And then for Super Yuppers, I have Soundwave 1 and 2. Apple Music and With Drama 2, and then the ones I'm missing, I just put in the back here. And then I do really want to try to get a fan sign from each of the eras, but they're a little bit harder to find. So that's my whole WJSN Chokumi collection. And then I also collect Luda for WJSN in general, but I will show that soon. And that is everything in this binder. Next, I will go through these two sparkly binders. And these binders are from AliExpress. And for my sleeves, I use these again, and then these for my fillers. I will go through this binder first. In this binder, I have WJSN and only one of. So from WJSN, I click Luda. I collect all her album cards and then select non-album photo cards. We have Would You Like the Secret from WJSN. These four are Happy Moment. And then Dream Your Dream. And then these three are Would You Please. And then that's when they start doing three cards per era. So I put the three album cards on the page and then a non-album card or pre-order. So this is Would You Stay album cards. And this is a Would You Stay broadcast. Then we have for the summer, the three album cards and a broadcast. And for As You Wish, I have her three album cards and her Starship Square pre-order. Next is Neverland. And this is when they started doing six cards per era. So this is the first version, second version, and third version. And then this is the lyric card that was an inclusion, and I'm pretty sure it was first press, but it fits in this pocket, so I put it there. And then I have the K-Town For You pre-order. Then for Unnatural, we have first version, second version, and the third version. And then this is Starship Square and K-Town For You pre-order. For a sequence, these are the four album cards, the jewel case, and then I decided to buy some pre-order benefits sequence so this is k-town for you and then i have the ones written they're not on hand yet since i'm still waiting for them all to come since i joined one group order for them this one's apple music and you can see which ones i will be getting and that's it for my little collection next is only one of which is the only boy group i collect and i collect yu jung and for him i just collect his album cards japanese cards pretty much any like official release that has photo cards i get them we have that point jump mind some goodness Unknown Art Picks 1.0 and 0 0.1, Produced by Part 1, Produced by Part 2, Instinct Part 1, Unknown Art Picks 2.0, Japan Best Album, Instinct Part 2, and then these are all Japanese cards. This is from their Japanese version of Suit Dance. This is the Normal, the Limited, and then Techiku? I'm not really sure how to say that, but it's like another Japanese store. This is from a men's Japanese magazine, and it's double-sided, and the back is really cute. And then we have Underground Idol 1, so Yu Jung was the first one to release a solo. So there was six cards. Those were all his solo cards. And then on the back here, I just put this Luda sequence postcard, and then that is it for this binder. Onto the other sparkly binder, once again, I use these sleeves. In this binder, I have Promise 9 and Billy. So from Promise 9, I collect Soyeon. For Soyeon, I collect all her album cards, kinos, basically any official album photo card or photo card size item, I will get it. So we have Two Heart, the Polaroid, and ID, and then Two Day. This page is a little random. This is the Two Day bookmark thing, and then we have from Nine, the keynote, and then the two photo cards. Then we have Fun Factory. And then I have her two Fun Factory Kinos, and then this page is a little messy too, but it transitions into My Little Society, so these two are the mini cards. And then we have her My Little Society photo cards, and the units with Jiwon and Sedum and Jisun and Hyung. We have Nine Way Ticket. For Talk and Talk, they had three album cards, and then they did one fan sign thing with Hello 82, so this is the pre-order from that. These are the Midnight Guest album cards. And then we have the two Kinos and then the two mini cards. 
I love the way this page looks. I mean, I guessed was a little bit messy in terms of photo cards, but this page turned out really, really pretty. Now we have Jewel Case. So they announced the Jewel Case after I had already set up the album cards. So there was just going to be one on the page. So I decided to collect my top four. I have Sinom, Jiwon, Soyeon, and Chaeyoung. And then for from our Memento box, this is the first time they've done three versions of an album. So we have the Wish version, the Dream version, and the Memory version album cards. This one's my favorite Soyeon photo card of all time. <laughs> and then I have her two Kinos. This is the jewel case and then these three are the weavers version of from our memento box this is the pre-order that came with it it had a qr card but i don't like how thick pvc cards are so i did not store it in here and then that's it for my soyoung collection next i collect hotum from billy for hotum i collect all her album cards select pre-orders and then i try to collect all the merch cards so we have the village of perception chapter one the two album cards her id and then this pre-order is make star two then these four are her Snowy Night Tin Case cards. This is the Snowy Night Polaroid. This one is a benefit card. I think it's either 20 or 30,000 won. And then I have her two tin case units with Suki. And then for the Clutch of Soul and Unconscious, I have her four album cards and the Polaroids. And then I have two of her IDs on the back. And then I have some pre-orders, which I will try to name them all. K-Town for you two, Maka Shop. Dear My Muse 3. This is Sonara 2. Then we have JJ Muse 1 and 2. Dear My Muse 2. This is Everline 2. And then on the back here I have Mixstar 1, Mixstar 2. This is K Town for You 3. These three are on the back because I was supposed to have three full pages of pre orders, but one of them ended up falling through, so I just put them here so I didn't have an empty spot. Well, I do still have an empty spot, but at least there's like something here. And then we go on to Pat Bingsu. So these are the platform version albums. And then this is the last platform photo card. And then I have three pre-orders. I think this is Mixstar 3 or 4 maybe. This is Mixstar 1 and this is K-Town for you 1. And then those are the only pops I collected for Pat Bingsu just to fill the space. Then we have the Pat Bingsu merch. So these are the tin case cards. Then I have the unit with Suhyun, her 50,000 won benefit card. And then I have her Dream Vader keychain photo card, and I'm just missing the Snowy Man one. And then I'm pretty sure that was all the photo card merch that came with Pat Bingsu. And then we go into the Village of Reception Chapter 2. I'm still working on this since this came out fairly recently, so this is what I have so far. I have most of it on the way, and here I'm planning to put two pre-orders just to fill the rest of the page. And then the spot is for the Polaroids, and I'm just missing one more. And that's my entire Hotem collection. And then in the back here, I just have this printed picture of Soyeon with her cute red hair, and I just put stickers on it. So that's this entire binder. Next is my Chewon collection. So I collect all her Eyes One photo cards, just her selfie cards. I don't collect any of the ARs, and then her La Seraphim photo cards. And then this binder is from the One The Story merch. For sleeves, I use these since they fit like basically perfectly in these pages. So we start off with her Eyes One cards. We have Color Eyes, her solo card, and then her unit with Yena. Then we have Hard Eyes, the Violetta and Sapphire version. Then we have the start of Bloom Eyes. This is the I Was set. This is I Am. And this is I Will. Then we have One Eric Diary. So these are the diary version, the fantasy version and the 3D version. Then we go into one reeler. So this is scene one, this is scene two, and then scene three. And that's all her Eyes One cards. And then I have her La Seraphim cards. We have the blue cipher, black petrol, and then the two monochrome bouquet photo cards. And these are double-sided, but it kind of sucks you can't see them through this binder, but those are all my Che One cards. Next we'll do this mini binder. And then this Pochako binder is from, I believe Ducky World, the Sanrio store i guess these are the sleeves i use i don't think i showed what they were when i showed my chaewon binder but they're the bcw board game sleeves and then these are in the 50 by 89 millimeter and then the ones i use for chaewon are slightly smaller they're 56 by 87 so there's like a slight difference my first collection here is soryoung from gwsn and i collect all her album photo cards so we have a park in the night part one Park in the Night Part 2 and a Park in the Night Part 3. Then we have the keys. And then I am missing both her other side of the moon cards. 
Yeah, I've been meaning to finish this, but like, I'm just sad they're not having a comeback, so I'm like putting it off. So I like still have something to collect for her. Next is my really small Luna collection. So I used to collect Luna like off and on, and I've always collected Go On, but I haven't really liked a lot of their newer releases, so I haven't really been motivated to collect them further. But these are just some of the cards that I never ended up selling. So I have both Go On's solo cards, and they're both first press. I have her Beauty and the Beat Limited. I have this gentle here because I was trying to trade for Go On, but yeah, she's just living there for right now. I have one of Go On's XX cards, and then I have one of her Hula Hoop cards. Yeah, that's my whole Luna collection. I used to be almost complete with my Go On collection, but around 12 o'clock when I started doing consistently 12 photo cards per era, I just kind of lost interest in collecting, but I still really, really like their music. Yeah, those are just the cards that I have right now. And then I have some Yenna solo cards. So these are just my album pulls. So this is from Smiley, the smile version. Then this is the hero version. And then for a smartphone, I just bought one version of the album. That is this little mini binder. Okay, I'm gonna do my last mini binder. And then this one has all my album pulls or just random photo cards that I like of artists that I don't collect. And then I put these cards in chronological order of the album release. Oh, and this binder is from Beyondy. And I like it because it has like the rings here so I can move photo cards around if needed. And these are the sleeves that I use for it. So I'm just going to say the idol name and then the album that it's from. And then I do double side some of the cards, but most of them are single sided. So first we have Luna Red Light, Heejin Love and Evil, Sejong Narcissus Act 2, and Mina as well, Momo Twistagram, Yoram Junior Dream, Cheyoung Two Day, and I have Anne and Minju Park in the Night Part 1, Nagyoung from 9, Bona Would You Stay, Momo Fancy You, Young Fun Factory, Joy Day 1, and Joy Day 2. Then I have Junji Line Sun Goodness, both versions of this photo card. Then I have Yudi and Yujin from One Eric Diary, Yuju from Song of the Sirens, Momo Eyes Wide Open, Aiza Stardew Young Culture, Kai from his first mini, Yukika Tower Bout, Aiza Statum. And then I have two Yuhyun Summer Holiday cards. Chani Thrilling, Isa Stereotype, Kai Peaches, Suhyun The Collective Soul and Unconscious, I have Shouting and Yeso The Blast, I have Beauty and Cheyoung from a Memento Box, Ning Ning Girls, and Bomi from Chobang Copycat. And those are all the photo cards for this binder. This one is my last main A5 binder, and this binder is from Sanrio, it's the My Melody one. For this binder, I use the Dragon Shield Clear Classics to sleeve my cards. On the front here, I have this uni glassy lenticular. So this binder overall just has a lot of random miscellaneous stuff. So I have some soloists, drop collections, units, and then just random pre-order non-album stuff. First in this binder is Jo Yudi, and I have all her glassy photo cards. I was initially going to collect everything for her for her solo, but a lot of comebacks were happening when she had her second comeback Waltz and Major. So I only got two cards from each of the photo books. And then I have these two pre-ordered blip cards. I would definitely love to collect more for her, but she's just not really a priority right now. And then I have some Woods cards. So I typically buy his albums because I really, really like his music, but I don't think I would ever collect him fully. So these are the album cards I have. These are from Equal. And then these two are from whoops set i have one more set card on the back only lovers left and then colorful trauma then i have my drop collections i was initially collecting suki along with hotum when they first debuted but i decided i just wanted to collect hotum so i just kept a few of her cards when i was still collecting her we have the village of perception chapter one and then two of her snowy night cards and then on this back side we have her id from the collective soul and unconscious one of her Pet Pink Sue platform cards. And then these two are from the tin case from Pet Pink Sue. And then we go into my other drop collection, which is Taeyong from NCT. He was one of the first artists that I like was like seriously collecting. I wanted to collect everything for him, but 
as in kind of got out of hand especially with their current era like i'm kind of glad i dropped him but i just kept a few of my most favorite cards so we have cherry bomb his empathy hollow his two empathy photo cards we have regulate superhuman kino this is one of the asia press super m cards from their first mini this is the neo song kino this photo card's from the final round this is Resonance Part 1 and then Resonance Part 2. This is from the NCT 2020 Beyond Live AR card. And those are all the cards that I've kept. And then we go on to my Ludi units. I just store them here because they don't really work in the layout in my other binder. So I just store them here. We have this unit with Dawan from Neverland. These two with Yorong from Hoomph. And then this unnatural unit with... And then these three are super yuppers with Subin, Yorong, and Dayang in each of the concepts. Then I have this unit with Yorum from Sequence. Those are all my Lulu units. These next three pages are idols I collect their album photo cards, but with how common pre-orders are nowadays, you're like bound to get a pre-order if you buy any of the albums. These are just pre-orders that I've gotten from joining group orders and I didn't want to get rid of them so I was able to make a page out of them. So we have Soyeon, we have My Little Society, and then we take it Midnight Guest and from our Memento box. And then I believe these two are Apple Music and these two are both Weavers. And then for Chaewon, I have a few random cards from Eyes One. This is the one of the Blue Eyes Kinos. I used to have the other one. I don't know where it went. I might have accidentally given it away in a sale. I'm not too sure though, but I have this one. This is from New York Theater, the like ticket set. And then these two are from the New York Theater Blu-ray. This is one of the Blu-ray cards. And then this is the Keytown for You pre-order. Next is some Yujung pre-orders, and then these are all from Underground Idol 1, his solo. This one is K-Town, and these three are Apple Music fan sign benefits. And then we just have completely random some idols I do and don't collect, but I just think these pre-orders are really cute, so I kept them. I have this So Young one from, I think this was the Park in the Night part 1. This is an HMV card, I'm pretty sure. This is Isa's stereotype with drama. And then I have these really cute Rie and Mill instinct part 2 k-town for you pre-orders and then i have this ning 2022 season greetings i used to collect ning ning i collect all her album photo cards but i recently did drop her but this is the one card i kept because it's very very pretty then i have this Sedum midnight guest weavers pre-order and these two are from yana smiley this is a lucky draw and then this is apple music i think one of like the last rounds like four or five those are all the random cards i have and then i just have this yukika soul lady id Next is the only A4 big binder I own. In here, I just have not album stuff that I got because I was getting it for the photo card or any extras I get as freebies and stuff. I have this cover I made. I cut up one of my Feel My Rhythm albums, so I will fix this eventually. So in the front, I have these Yukika Soul Lady postcards and some of her stickers. I have these two Super Yuppers postcards. I have Luda and Yoram. This one, I got like three times and it doesn't fit in my album without making it super bulky and this one I got as a freebie and then this is some remnants of my Ning Ning collection so I have two of her hollow standy and postcard this is from next level and this one's from dreams come true and I did buy these both for the photo card that I don't even have anymore this was the one the story ticket that came with the merch then I have this Soyeon Minette guest film strip and these are the season's greetings postcard for 2022 and then I have some Taeyong Seasons Greetings. So this is from, I think these both are. This is from the NCT 2020 Beyond Live ticket thing. Then I have these two Crystal SM Town Week limited postcards. And I have this Yuhan Summer Holiday Inclusion. This is one of the little postcards from Monster. This is the Seasons Greetings big photo card, I guess. This is Sylvie's Reve Festival 2022 Polaroid. And I accidentally bought this. I had bid on this on eBay for like really cheap. And then I didn't think I would win, but I ended up winning. So, and then this, I thought it was going to be photo card size, but it turned out to be a Polaroid. And I have this Soyeon Midnight Guest. It's called like special gift for like the jewel case. And once again, I bought this because I thought it was going to be photo card size. It's still really cute though. And then this is Sogi's Queendom little postcard thing from the girls version, which I got as a freebie. <laughs> This is a summer holiday sticker from Dreamcatcher. And then this little thing is an inclusion from Soul Lady. Then we go into my A4. So I have Taeyong's Super M A4. And then his Season's Greetings from 2020. 
Then I have Ninnings A Force from 2022 for the season's greetings. These are postcard things from Super One, and then this is allegedly signed by Taeyong, but it's probably manager signed. But this is from 100, Tiger Inside, and then One. And now this is just like completely random stuff that I just throw in here when I don't know where to put it. And half this stuff is like, I don't even have the physical album for, so I just put the inclusions in here. This is Taeyong's like cool ass postcard from Sticker. These are some of the stickers from Sequence. And then I have two posters back here. I think this one is Luda's Sequence poster. And then I think I have a Kai Peaches poster here. And then I just have these like inclusion thingies. This is the packaging from the SM Town Week FX postcard set that I have. I have Silly and Crystal for. This is like the little inclusion thing from the Bones of Reception chapter one. And then oh, I have stickers from Limitless that I just threw back there. And then I have this Jihan today standing thing that I think I was meaning to sell and the Subin inclusion. And then back here are just my albums that I've like torn apart. <laughs> and then I have my extra pages back here. So that's all my bigger inclusion stuff. And finally, I'll go through this binder really fast. This is just my dump binder where I have some like random non-K-pop stuff. So this is the first photo card binder I ever bought in like 2017 or 2018, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer one. So yeah, at the front here, I just have, these are like the cards you get when you get an A5 binder or like those photo card holder things. So I have those at the front. And then I have some Love Alive cards. I have Nozomi Maki, Kotori, and Chika. Nozomi's my favorite. I really like Love Live. These are from like Wafers. I got these randomly on Mercari like a very long time ago, but I think they're pretty. And then these are my QR cards. So this is Haram's Pepingsu one and Soyeon's from our Memento Box one. They're PVC and super thick and I don't like them. So I keep them here. And then I have this really cute New Jersey Pison freebie and then a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And then I have all my Animal Crossing Amiibos. And these are my fake ones. Nintendo, please don't sue me. And yep, that's it. So that's my entire photo card collection as of September 2022. Thanks for watching. Bye.